the news today's news on the hour presented by indeed.com I'm Wendy Gillette in New York. Preparations are well underway as tropical storm Idalia approaches Florida. It could hit the state's west coast Wednesday as a Category 3 hurricane. Tampa Airport's John Telecost says flights will be halted at the end of the day. We made the decision to close the airport, uh, suspend operations at midnight tonight to all commercial flights. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says federal resources will be made available and warned residents to get ready. It's important that people prepare today, get supplies, so they get food, water, and charge your electronic devices. People should visit ready.gov for, for tips on how to prepare. A law enforcement officer died when a rescue helicopter he was on crashed in South Florida. WFOR-TV's Joan Murray. The Broward Sheriff's Office confirms that two people died in this crash of a Broward Sheriff's Office emergency helicopter. The helicopter was on its way to a call north of Pompano Beach. The chopper never made it. During that rescue mission, they experienced some type of mechanical error which caused the chopper to crash in to a small apartment building. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake hit the Bali Sea region of Indonesia. It's unclear if there's any damage or injuries. A trial date is set for March in former President Donald Trump's federal election interference case. CBS News correspondent Scott McFarlane was in the courtroom. D.C. federal judge Tanya Chokin said the seven months between the arraignment in this case and then March 4th, 2024 trial date is adequate for the defense to get ready for trial. She said, quote, I've seen many cases delayed because the defendant lacks adequate representation that is not the case here she also said trump's political schedule and business schedule will not be relevant he has to be ready for trial there's a new associated press poll that shows the majority of americans want a younger president 77 percent of those asked believe president biden who is 80 is too old to be effective for another term he may well be mentally sharp at least when it comes to decision making but most people don't see that. Larry Sabato is the director of the Center for Politics at the University of Virginia. We judge based on the image of a president who shuffles a bit when he walks, who appears to be very frail. About half of those asked said 77-year-old Donald Trump is too old for another term. Christopher Cruz, CBS News, Washington. Stocks finished the day with gains. The Dow added 213 points. The S&P finished 27 points higher. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that. <clears throat> Yippee jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.